Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War Mode. Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to win the Second Balkan War with Bulgaria. Something almost everyone who has played this mod should have tried by now. So, first and foremost, I'm going to... I'm going to dismiss all of these divisions. Doesn't seem like I need any of them. Then, I'm going to start producing some... Cool. Let's have this, this, and this. You move on top, and you move here. Now I'm wondering, should I focus on industry? Oh, uh, which here? Okay, that's one year from now. Let's go on diplomatic effect. We don't, definitely are never going to use you. 24 divisions, that's all we're going to need for the war. All we're going to need. Okay, research. Let's start with this. This. And of course this. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick a doctrine yet, just yet. I'm gonna pick them the next time I have a chance. Let's have you and you, thank you. And let's go on speed 5, this is gonna be easy. I swear it. Uh, welcome to the Great War. You are a veteran player of Hearts of Iron, sure. And you want to experience the challenge? We add new difficulties to the game. Yeah, let's go with not today. I don't feel like experimenting with difficulties. The death of Edward VII, Edward VII's life, the namesake era, has down to a close. Though in a state of grief, the great King George V has received coronation, time will tell, if he can solve the tributant situation of Britain that he has inherited. So, yeah. There he is. It's gonna be easy. We're just simply gonna wait till stuff happens. The Albanian revolt. The Albanian refused to submit to the Turks. A new Albanian uprising began in Kosovo and the northern mountains. The Ottoman government declared a martial war and sent military expeditions. The Balkans are a power cake. Sure, we can say that about ourselves. South Africa came to the being on 31st of May. 1910, with the unification of the previously separated colonies of Cap Natal, Transvaal, and the Orange Free State, the Union, uh, the Union of South Africa was founded as a dominion of the British Empire. The Union is formed. Hmm. So, we are already on partial mobilization. We are never gonna switch that unless we go to war, which we will. It's just a matter of time. Okay. Let's go with you. And here we're gonna go with this because we do want the army experience guy. And that's all he gives me. This guy does not give me the ahead of time penalty for land doctrines. Well, there's no ahead of time penalty, but uh, you know, I meant that he does not shorten the time of researching land doctrines. There's the aluminium here to reduce speed. Japan Korean Annexation Treaty. The Korean Empire, a Japanese puppet state since the assassination of Quinn Min in 1895, has just signed a treaty. Let's actually pick the research before we continue. Uh, Okay, let's start with the land doctrine. We need you and you. Excellent. Just signed a treaty with the Japanese government that uh, resulted in a full annexation. Though the Russian official actions have been taken against the Japanese yet, it seems that the Korea long legacy will go out with nothing more than a whimper. Oh well, Korea. Aluminium, okay. I'm going to switch you to free trade because what resources do we currently possess? Let's uh, take a look, shall we? 
uh, we have wood, coal, chromium, which we are not using, and steel. Yes, the trade system is complete garbage in this game. Oh, look at that, 24 divisions, we can actually deploy some of them. Not yet, I'm going to postpone deploying them on the field. There's the Balkan politics. Let's choose to go on anti-Ottoman politics. No, actually wait. Let's choose to go on industry this time. You're going with a free trade, there you go. 150, uh, sure. We're waiting for these divisions to be deployed. All of them, at once. So we still need some tungsten and some steel. Portugal becomes a republic. Mirroring the former colony of Brazil, the Republic of Portugal have occupied the monarchy, a string of blunders, and monarchy mostly, concerning the colonies and theological development, provoked a very small band of rebels to come together, with, uh, which quickly earned the support of nearly the entire military. Though the issues of monarchy forces are unlikely to be easily solved any time soon, at least the anger of the public is quenched for now. The Portuguese Republic is proclaimed. Ray for Portugal. Let's go with this. New surgical instruments in 125 days. Aluminium and steel. Oh, okay, let's go with infantry equipment. Yeah, sure. Okay, next we're gonna go with this guy, Sava Savov, who is an army officer. And he's a genius. Yeah, that gives you. Division attack plus 15%. Okay, next, let's go with this industry. A revolution in Mexico. On October the 5th, 1910, Madero issued a letter from Joe, known as the Plan de San Luis Brasil, with its main slogan, Zafagio Efectivo. No re election free suffrage and no re-election. He declared the Danish presidency illegal and called for a revolt. Yeah, he's old. What? So what? That doesn't mean he doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. Let's go with you, so we know what's going on in the world. Actually, I need to research some artillery. How's this, by the way? Yeah, we already have three on those. We're gonna have the third one on those. And um, we're constructing this March the 18th. It's gonna be well. Trust me. It simply is. Aluminium, steel, and wood. It's gonna be somewhat painful, but. You know, we start with full efficiency on those. Okay, let's go with you, very quickly. We have only 62,000 men. Once we start upgrading our infantry, that's gonna be painful as hell. We're gonna add them... Actually, let's see, what do we want? Yeah, that's the ultimate division we want. But we do need 24 divisions in order to cover the entire front with no worries. And let's have the encryption bonus. You're still being upgraded. That's nice. And this. Okay, after which we're gonna go with artillery. Okay, in 35 days we are going to have planning speed, division speed, organization when moving. Ooh, nice. Now, which way should I go? This way? 
Battle of the Sikh, the Albanians have scored the upset victory of the Turkish forces. Today, after a surprise attack on the much numerically superior Ottoman forces, the Albanian lured the pursuing Turks into a nearby town of Tuzi, where joined by rebels from Montenegro, they overthrew the bottleneck, forced into retreat the Turkish authority in the Balkans has fallen further in the question as a result. The Ottoman Empire is weak. Let's go with anti-Ottoman politics, yeah, that inspired us. Anti-Ottomans. Okay, let's pick up the army offensive genius. We could go with speed, no, offensive genius. Okay, mass charge is ready. Entrenching battalions, it's gonna be very helpful. Decryption, 85 days, 82, 81, good. How long before the other one is completed? On July the 20th. Then we're gonna start training with people. We have 300 artillery right now. Let's see if we can add one. I'm not certain. <laughs> How many... Oh, right, right. We don't have any artillery right now. I always assume that I have artillery assigned as a support. Well, I'll think about it. I think we will have enough artillery in time. We're not gonna build tanks for now. There it is. That's what we wanted. Alrighty, now we're just gonna wait. There are the other Ottomans. Machu Picchu uncovered. Machu Picchu, the grand estate of the Incan king Pachacuti, has been found. Last inhabited uh, around 1550, it has rested nearly untouched by the world community until its rediscovery by American explorer Herman Bigham. The previous government is gradually preparing for an influx of easily taxed tourists. <laughs> Next step, Nazca. Okay then, let's research something else. How about army? Well, in July the 20th, that's soon-ish. Okay, what should we have here? I'm thinking... Yeah, let's have Mikhail Savo here, of infantry divisions. July the 20th, there you go, that's all we needed. Let's start training for the stuff we need. I need wood, let's purchase it from the Germans. Uh, let's purchase it from the Austro-Hungarians. And that as well, they are close by. We might need their support once the wars break out. Hmm. Next stop. Infantry recovery rate, yeah. If Intruder Calorie is going to be very important for us right now, not so much, but later on, it is simply going to be a must. So, we need a thousand guns. Let's. Yeah, let's add the artillery. Three hundred guns. Oh, I should have read that. Anyway. Three hundred seventy. 170, okay, that's good. 350 units, uh, how, how many days? 366. 71 days for you. Yeah, well, two researches. Last night, a thief stole the famous Mona Lisa from the Louvrel. This morning, Louise Berand walked into the Salon Carré portion of the museum, where the Mona Lisa has been on display for five years, only to find four iron pages on the wall. Local guards claimed the art was being um, photographed, which turned out to be untrue. Currently, the museum is closed for investigation. They just walk away with it. <laughs> Why do you want that painting? It's not even that good. Okay. 
15 10 infantry weapons land doctrine let's go with infantry weapons we are gonna need the best weapons we can have okay so you say we need 140 more days for this to be completed the King Dynasty declare war on this the Xinhai Revolution the Xinhai Revolution or Xinhai Revolution was a revolution that overthrew the Chinese, last imperial dynasty, in Qing, the establishing the Republic of China. The revolution was named Xinhai because it occurred in 1911, the year of Xinhai string branch in the sexuality circle of Chinese calendar. The revolution considered, uh, consisted of many revolts and uprising. The turning point in the Vochak uprising on October 10, 1911, that was the result of mushmandering the railway production movement, the revolution ended with the abdication of the last emperor, Puri, on February 12, 1912, that marked the end of the over 2,000 year of imperial China, at the beginning of the Chinese Republic era. This better not rather affect the price of tea, right? That's all the Brits care about. We actually don't care about tea that much. 100 days for this. 9 days for that, okay. Next. Recon team. Well, we don't have recon actually. Let's go with the encryption so they don't know where we are coming from. And then I'm gonna think about this one. How close are we to deploying all of them? Close enough. We're gonna have the artillery in no time. There's war medicine. Okay, let's go with this. We're gonna add, at some point, those binoculars. There it is, the Italian declare war on the Ottoman Empire. So, Italian Turkish opportunity. The Italian invasion on Libya. The ultimatum was presented to the Ottoman government through, Aust uh, through Austrian intermediation. The Ottomans replied with proposal of transferring control of Libya without war, maintaining a formal Ottoman suzerainty. The Italians refused, and war is now declared. A war for peace of sand. Yeah, the Italians are quickly going to win this one. Let's hope they don't win before we actually start our wars. Not that it matters that much, but I do prefer if we actually have a chance to strike them when they are unprepared. Okay, next, division recovery rate. I think that's the better choice. And there goes the Xinhai Revolution. The end of Xinhai Revolution. The civil war in China has ended. The Qing Dynasty has fallen. And a new republic has been proclaimed in its place. Though the new government was initially veiled with skepticism, the great powers have begun guaranteed continuing the trade in China. And laces of the various parts of the cities on the coastline have been renowned. The translation of the new republic is therefore uh, expected to be smooth. Thank God the tea is safe. On December the 14th, 1911, Rom Amundsen and four others arrived at the Pole five weeks ahead of the British party led by Robert Faucus Scott as part of a Terra Nova expedition. The amusement uh, has his team returned safely to their base and later learned that Scott and his four companions had died on their return journey. Perhaps we'll establish colonies. Yeah, because we just dream to establish colonies on places we can't even breathe. Mars. Okay, we have 30 days for this. Let's add a new infantry division to those guys. Yeah, I know it's not gonna be enough. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, let's add two, in fact. Okay, how many days until this is done? 130. Oh, just enough time, I believe. Good. Let's now have something else. 
Uh, let's go with you. And of course the Doctrine. Um, well, maybe soft attack. What do you give? Organization. Hmm. Division speed. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's so much more organization. Yeah, I don't care about division speed that much. So let's go with this. Okay, we have the field guns. There's this. Proposed military alliance with Serbia. No, they are going to propose the alliance themselves. We're going to go this way because I want some manpower. Not a lot, but just enough. By the way, are you proposing the alliance right now? Yeah. We are going to join you. Trust me. We have... A deficit of 2,560. Eighteen of those divisions don't have enough. It's it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Trust me. Fifty-five. Okay. How close was that? 90 days. Ninety days. We're gonna have this in seventy days. We're not gonna declare a war before this is done. Join the Balkan League. Serbia is forming a Balkan League and uh, asks us if we'd like to join them. Should we accept? Of course. Yeah, it's made very strangely. We can actually give Romania this part of Dobruja in order for them to join us. And by the way, ignore the names, they mean nothing, especially this one. Grand Duke Wilhelm, oh, I'm sorry, William IV dies. Grand Duke William IV of Luxembourg, the second independent ruler of the country and his first Catholic monarch, has died today after five years of regency due to poor health and old age. Marie Andalier has ascended to the throne and is expected to carry his legacy. Yay. The Balkan League. In surprising move, several Balkan countries, including rival states Serbia and Bulgaria, yeah, sure, have uh, come together to form the Balkan League. I thought the alliance together, the Habsburgs, it seems far more likely that the state that divides these four nations would be their target. The League is formed. Some but forget, Ferdinand is of house. Saxco Borgotha. And you, sir, are Nicola the First. He's fine, I guess. The leader of Greece, George the First. Vast pocket cameras. Yeah, well, maybe we'll need them. Let's upgrade the artillery. I don't care about my, my head. We might need them. We will definitely need them. Let's go effort. How long before this is done, by the way? 200 days. Hmm. It's fine. Seems like the Italians were pushed back, sorta. They still hold this. Ministry of Industrial Affairs. Liberate the Balkans. You know, I'm going to go with this one instead. Bet this guy is going to want to liberate the Balkans once he has the chance. And what do we have here? I'm going to save this so we can go on war economy as soon as possible. How many divisions do we currently possess? A thousand more infantry is requested. And we have around, yeah, in 30 days we'll have enough. It's not a big deal. 15 width. The sinking of the Titanic. The RMS Titanic, through its unspeakable, uh, has met its end on the largest maritime disaster in history. With over 1,500 dead, the already debates are clearing up from the local coffee shops all the way up to the Parliament's 
throughout Europe and North America as to why the ship was not properly equipped with enough life rafts, why the comm system was uh, disabled, and why exactly the ship crashed into an iceberg to begin with. This tragedy has attracted international attention and spurred a massive overhaul in maritime safety standards. They said that the Titanic was unsinkable. They were wrong. And you were... Oh right, you're a democracy because sure you are. Carol the first. The Olympic Games. The Olympic Games in Stockholm for open new events have been included this year, including art competitions, death road, and even some first physical events for women. Will we attend the ceremony? Of course we will. And who's we? The royal family of saxe coburg -Otha. Let's not forget they're German, sort of. Quip and effort. Are you trying to liberate the Balkans? Yes. Okay, I need to deploy those guys immediately. I don't care if it's not all of them. There you go, 18 divisions. I think that's enough. We're gonna have a strong line here. We're gonna make you division red. We're gonna give you, of course, Vladimir Vazov, because he's the best general of the Great War. And we're gonna wait. Oh, and also, we're gonna assign people here directly. And because the game demands, we have a planning bonus. Okay, how long before you declare that war? It shouldn't be that much. Oh, uh, can we have those? Let's see, nope. Nope. Well, actually, we might be able to, but we're gonna wait until after the war. Also, we're gonna have you and you. I don't think we're gonna need any more infantry equipment. Last division is going to be deployed in 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, there you go. Almost got it, but not really. Okay, Serbia, it's all up to you. There's the war. Let's start then. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. And you go here. Okay, you can stop then. So can you. We bypassed the focus. Taking advantage of the weakness of the Ottoman Empire following the Italo-Turkish War, the members of the Balkan League declare war against the Ottoman Empire. Where would the Ottomans survive this attack? The Balkan League declared war on the Ottomans. Yeah, thanks for that. Because when you tell us twice, we couldn't get it. Uh, hold them up here, and you hold those guys here. There we go. One of you must move on. There you go. You here, here, and hold this guy off. You, attack those guys here. Oh, uh, let's actually have a new focus, because we are gonna forget about that. Develop the country, sure. Okay guys, leave the horsey, it's got nothing to you. You go here, take the city. Forget about those guys. You can release them right now. You attack this guy right over there. Support attack him. I want him dead. You can stop that. He's gonna move away from here. Let's take this. Good, move here. The Greeks are doing nothing, so that's wonderful. Try to take this, hold them off here. Damn it! Ok, 
Okay, how's the losses looking? We lost 69 men. They almost lost 4,000 men. Yeah, pretty historic, I'd say. Okay, yeah, this is mine. Well, this is the Greeks, but why? I have no idea. Attack here and here. You attack over there. You stop attacking here. Attack this guy. You take this. And this. And then here. Okay, take Aldrin. Then try to take Gallipoli. You attack there. And I want you both here. Get about this attack. Good. All we have to do is wait. Fine, we're not gonna take that. Forget about it. We can stop attacking. It's not our war anymore. Our losses, we lost a thousand men. Yeah. I hate having so many losses for no good reason. Yeah, the Italians still haven't ended their war, so that's a nice destruction, I'd say. Now, why did they get this? I mean, they had no people here. Well, let them have their fun, I guess. They don't have any holes in the walls, so we can't actually exploit anything. The Greeks, however, have no idea how to fight this war. Well, we have to wait. Emperor Menji is dead. Emperor Menji suffering from a disabled nephritis and Gastronophatis died of Euromania. Although the official announcement said he died at what's this? 1242 on July 30th, 1912. The actual death was 2240 on July the 29th. After the Emperor's death in 1912, the Japanese Diet uh, passed a resolution to commemorate his role in the Manji Restoration. An Iris Garden in the area of Tokyo, where the Emperor Menji, the Empress had been known to visit, was chosen at the building and the location of the Shinto Shrine, Menji Jengu. The shrine does not contain the Emperor's grave, which is located at Fushimi Momamayama, uh, south in Kyoto. Okay, that sounded exactly how I thought it should. <laughs> Try to take this guy down. Keep pushing. I need to take Thessalonica. Next, this. Yeah, it's one on one. We don't have enough uh, many losses. I do need to survive this after all. I totally forgot to switch you, by the way. War economy, thank you. And artillery. There you go. Okay, I want you to retreat here, and one of you will retreat here. Gas must be ours. No, you are not 
going to stop me. There you go. That was nice. Bulgaria first. Yeah, you can stop attacking. Someone take this. Oh, I, I didn't see you there. Wait, did I? Hm. Okay, guys, stop it. Uh, can I have my persons here and some artillery? Well, the artillery is a no-no. Can we have one more division here? That's also a no-no. Okay, let's have this for now. It's fine, I have all I need because we're not gonna receive anything else despite the Greeks owning us that. No, 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 stop them. Just support him, actually. You're joking with me. How slow are you? I'll take that. Stop attacking. Attack this guy. There you go. So, why does Serbia have claim here? Seriously, only 77,000? Huh. Yeah, that sounds fair. You, attack this. I don't believe that the Italian war is ended. No, it's still gone. And you just decided to let it go? That's it. Okay, stop. They don't have a dock here. Now, if only the Greece had a brain. Okay, take that. Somehow we have air superiority. I don't know how. Or why? Ah, look at those attack numbers, river crossing and stuff. Wait, we don't have enough supplies somewhere? Why? Just forget about it then. Leave four divisions here and that's it. It's Greek territory, why should we care about it, right? Yeah, that war is gonna be prolonged. We lost 3,000 men, the Serbians lost 4,000, yeah, and, um, sure. Hey guys, I have an idea. Why don't you go here, quickly? Wow, it's almost like it was too easy or something. You attack here, and you guys try to take this. It's gonna take some time. Are you all out of organization? You guys are. Good. Okay, forget about that. Oh, look at that. You can take the Greeks for losing this uh, region, I guess. Um, let's go on Doctrine. A 
Okay, you can retreat then. I need one of you here, and one more of you here. I need three of you guys right over here. Go. Just bloody go. Well, can you attack him or not? Okay, go very unaggressive and just move. There we go. Finally. We can actually end this war before the Italians end theirs. If we are lucky enough. Okay, let's choose some people. I think we should go with Quartermaster General. Eh. Civilian to military factory conversion. Maybe. Captain of Industry, that's always nice. Okay, let's have you and one more guy. Oh, Ford. Engineer, okay. There we go. Hey, look at that. We can actually have one more of you, right? Yep. And you? Good. Do it. Why don't you go and help them here? Bet my people are dying from attrition more than everything else. 6,000 men. Damn it, go here. Can you just defend this port? Stop attacking, I guess. Okay, you go here, then here. Why don't you help him out right there? I can see some Austrians helping the Ottomans. Oh, that's nice. Oh, finally we have enough supplies. Great. Ooh, Serbia lost 10,000 men. Actually, Montenegro lost 4,000. I didn't know you had so many. Apparently didn't. For a second. There you go. White piece. Yeah, we got more than we had occupied because the game really likes us. The Treaty of London, the Balkan League took advantage of the weakness of the Ottoman Empire and forced them to, concer and to concede some territories. It's a victory for the Balkan League and maybe the end of the Ottoman Empire. The, uh, the Balkan League is victorious. Good. So generic, by the way. You, move here. All of you. I need a defensive line that goes like so. And an offensive line that goes like so. That's 12 people. Good. 14 people. Good. Wait, that is enough, right? Ah, I can't tell right now. It's enough. 
doctrine happened, and let's criticize the London Peace Treaty. Let's start on this. In a hundred days we're gonna have new artillery, so that's cool. Seven hundred. We are not gonna have enough artillery. Okay. So we're gonna go with a different width than I wanted. We need a little bit more still. Let's get it from the Austrians. They might send us some volunteers once the war starts again. Before March. Okay. Demand more land. Say, Ottomans, how are you doing? They are preparing for war. That's bad. That actually gives them a lot of uh, recruitable population. Okay, yeah, let's... Uh, Delete this. It's gonna be done in 14 days. Uh, yeah, the Greeks have stockpiled their troops right there. They don't have nearly enough equipment to withstand me in Thessalonica. So I'm going to attack here, 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 and here afterwards. How long? Two more days. Go here, go here, and go here. So I want you over here, you over here, and I want you to hold them over there. Bo uh, okay, Bulgaria was not happy with the results of the Balkan War. Despite being uh, promised a large amount of territory, Serbia and Greece turned out to be completely unwilling to give up Bulgarian claims in Macedonia. In response, Bulgaria began an invasion of Serbia with a surprise attack and then themselves were surprised to find Greco-Serbian alliance had brought for time exact situation. Bulgaria is a tough position, could this ruin the stability in the region forever? Here we go again. Help them, actually hold it and hold it. Fine, attack them also. And I want you to support attack this. Move here. No, no, hold them, hold them. I want niche. Excellent. Stand there, stand here. Salonica is ours. Good. Everyone over here. In fact, I'm gonna tell you to force march. The rest of you. Right there. Good. Uh, right, so, that was a quick surprising attack, I'd say. Next. Now I do want to reach this as well, so let's go for a political. How close are you? Well, they still haven't declared anything. How are the Ottomans? The Ottomans are preparing for war still. We need four divisions on the Ottoman border. Technically, three divisions, but I do want a fourth one, just so we can have enough support. There you go. Let's march out. How good are you right now? He's a level six. That's nice. Romania intervention. Dobruja has been split between Romania and Bulgaria since the Congress of Berlin. The entire territory contains nearly equal part Romanians and Bulgarian population, with mix of Turks as well, with Bulgaria swamped in its own war. Who would stop Romania from taking the uh, rest of the region? Romania has no chance to reclaim that. Okay, move here, you, support attack. Hold it, I want you to attack here, 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 and here. Now 
No, 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 don't. Just split them in half, that's all we need. Uh, you too, attack there. Attack him here. Good. Take this region. I want you to attack here. Just hold him there and there. You too. I want you to support attack this. You attack here. There you go. Okay. Hold. Everyone attack here, except you. I want you to attack here along with this guy. You attack here, here, and here. Still preparing for war. That's nice. Go here. Can you stop them? Wait, there is no territory there? Huh. Okay, that's something unexpected. Whoa, where do you think you're going? Stay in there. I want you over here. You attack here. You too as well. And there goes Romania. Okay, everyone. I need you over here. Except you. I want you over there. You stay here. You stay there. You, sir. I want you right here and then here. Okay, now we can actually have more than four divisions. I didn't expect Romania to fight so quickly. Six divisions, that's more than enough, I'd say. Go and support them here. Suffrage demonstrations. After being Disfranchised for years, women have begun to take their streets to Washington DC and London, demanding their rights to vote. The American president, in particular, perhaps on the suggestion of his wife, has already signed their voting rights into law, and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom does not seem long behind. Yay? Okay, forget about this. It's not that important. What is important? How long before you declare war on me? I'm still preparing for war. America chooses new freedom. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that in a second. I wanna check if I can add the new artillery division here. No. Damn it. In 1912, Woodwin Wilson ran out on a platform of new freedom which denounced what Wilson proclaimed as both Theodrian Roosevelt's more partisanic uh, collectivist new nationalism as well as William Howard Taft's conservation of Bourdam Democra uh, Democrats. Wilson promised lower tariffs, free trade and tariffs breaking in his speech, though the progressive mo uh, movement would encourage him to enact more modern form of Roosevelt um, Wilson's proposals to the consideration of a Federal Reserve and support for income tax. While some of these politics have, might be costly in the short term, in the long term they would both help keep consumers uh, pro uh, 
protect it from economic research and make good less expensive, satisfying the populace of the moment. This show stabilized nation. Oh my, I can't read this for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, okay. A little bit more concentrating on the Balkan Wars right now. Oh. Wait. Seriously? Are you naval invading me? Are you actually suggesting that I'm gonna give you your land back? <laughs> Pathetic. Okay guys, I want two of you here. Uh, you could retreat right here, actually. I want one of you here. And you attack there. Okay, yo, let's not attack her. I don't think we need that. Are you still at war with the Italians? They had this. Italy is actually gonna lose this war. Okay, first of all, let's do this. It's gonna be. Listen to me, game. I am your boss. Okay, the Greeks are fine. Everything seems to be working to our advantage. Yeah, I know they're attacking here. They might actually break us in the north. Yeah, we'll need those six divisions, at least five of them. It's not that important, but I do want this to end quickly. We have three divisions here. We need only two to defend that. Yeah, thanks for that game. Now, attack here, here, and I want you to attack here. The Ottoman Empire joined the Second Balkan War. Following the start of the Second Balkan War, the Ottoman Empire decided to take advantage of this situation to try and reclaim some of their lost lands. Bulgaria. Yeah, that's gonna work. Could have done that after you ended the war with, you know, those people who are totally killing you right now. That's one horse division right there. You, stop that. I want you to attack here. In fact, I want you to run here. I think we can hold him off. Now, that's bad. I said I want you here. I want you to go here as well. Come on. There you go. Only two divisions here. One here. And one here. You, I want you to attack this. I want this cavalry out of the way so we won't be backstabbed. Again. Okay, good. Is there anything we need to reinforce right now? No, it seems like we're doing fine. How many losses? We have 6,000 brave men who died. 6,000. Oh man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why, thank you there. Didn't know you could actually give me that for some stupid reason. Okay, I want you two to attack here. I want you here and here, and then both of you attack here. You too. Move, then. We're gonna go. Go right over there. Support this. Are you serious there? Uh, we don't care about you or you. Why do you insist on having three divisions here? This game has no idea how to play. Can you attack here? Okay, stop. You stop as well. 
Oh, uh, excellent. Okay, everyone, I want only one division here. The rest of you, I want right over there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the second one there as well for now. Okay, this region seems to be in trouble. Let's have you here, then move over there. We don't need so much wood now. Static positions. Well, yes, now we are a little bit slower, but we have so much more organization base than no chance. I want you to attack there. Show losses. There you go, 100,000 men. Yeah, keep trying to push there, that's gonna work well for you. I want half of you right over there. Make sure they're all destroyed. You, hold them off. There you go. Stay there. You, over here. Fixing the border a little bit. And I want you to stop moving. Yeah, let them attack us. Uh, we actually do need more of those. We have 10,000 men in reserve. That means we can't actually have this one. And all we have to do now is wait. Alrighty, look at that. We have a decryption advantage. How many divisions are there? We don't have decryption advantage. Yes, we do. Strange. Okay, attack here. And stop, and stop as well. Let them waste their men against our battle lines. Okay, that's kind of dark. Move over there. No, no, move here. We lost 10,000 men. I mean, that's quite a lot of men. Okay, where would we be able to push in? I want you to retreat here, and you go here as well. Hey, look at that, new artillery. Oh yeah, you are so dead right now. Something else I want? Well, let's deploy some gas attacks. Yeah, they would love that. Overexhausted, are you? Okay, let's see. Can I attack you here and here? That's 41%. They don't have enough supplies. And stop. You have no idea how to wage a wa uh, trench warfare, do you? He's gonna become skill 8 very soon. Okay, I don't actually think I need both of you here. But I'm gonna keep you, just in case. You, attack here. How's this going? Well, yes, you guys are trying something. I'm actually kind of surprised you still are fighting on. Can you attack here? National recognition, and we actually do want this one. Should we go with limited freedom, or what do you give? Political power, me, uh, political power and army experience, okay. No, we're gonna go with students movement because that actually helps us with our land doctrine research. Mm 
you be able to take that out. Attack here. It's 50%. Come on, you can break them. Mass production. Something amazing is happening at the factory of Palenque Avenue. Henry Ford's ambition, desire. Oh, there you go. Italy and the Ottomans are now at peace. Well, it was about time. Ambition, desire to make the autom automobile affordable for any customer has inspired the assembly line production scheme. Though the assembly line has been in use since the far back as the Roman times, Henry Ford's uh, clever use of moving convoyers, belts, uh, specialized mechanics, and more specifically skilled workers in close uh, to making his dream a reality. I hope they have one in black. Okay, go here. The Ottomans won the Italo-Turkish War. Italy lost the Italo-Turkish War. Are you sure? Don't you that's gonna happen? The second they didn't end the war once Italy had occupied all of that. Well, by all of that I meant those three cities. I knew this was gonna be a prolonged war. I need two of you here. I don't want to use this. Yeah, keep pushing. That's gonna help you stop attacking. Okay, we still have 6,000 more men. How many men do you currently have, Serbia? None. 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 Yeah, that is kind of strange that you can actually go on intensive conscription despite being attacked by multiple people. Well, you can retreat. No, not both of you, just one of you. Last of the game. Oh well. It's not a big of a deal unless they break me here, in which case, yeah, it is a big deal. Hey, look at that. Let's try to take this. Now let's stop and attack here. They shouldn't have any supplies. The Ottomans are pretty powerful right now for some reason. Oh, look at that! Holes in the walls of the Greeks. You attack here and here and here. Can you help him? You help him as well. Now let's stack those divisions right there. What can possibly go wrong, right? Okay, guys, stop attacking. We're slowly gonna break them. Trust me. Yeah, slowly. Oh, let's attack here. And then attack here. No, no, you stay here right now, and I want one of you to stay here and just support attack. So we won't actually have a movement. Political power. Military factory. Cool. You don't have enough, so let's tell you to stay here. You, back there, and one of you, I want you just to defend. Seems like you're not gonna win this, let's not waste our equipment then. Except, let's totally lose our equipment, because this will fall any second, there you go. No, no, keep pushing, keep pushing. I want you here. And yep, you guys are so gonna die now. There I go, five divisions, let's give them a sixth one. 
just in case. You can stop attacking. They will run out of organization any second. That's 60% and they are falling. Falling quite quickly in fact. Now yeah, this war is ours, despite this. Yeah. That stupid mistake I made there. Oh well. Mistakes were made. You, attack here and here. We have four divisions, can you push here? Good. Now I want you to push here as well. And from Nish, the first light across the Mediterranean Sea. I'm gonna read that in a second. Today the locus um, of Bizarret. Tunisia noticed a strange flying object which was revealed to be Ronald Carlos, a French professional pilot in his marine saunier fallen plane. This journey marks the first crossing of the Mediterranean Sea by air, an astonishing landmark for the young sands of aviation. Local sailors were reportedly not impressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Ferdinand will say so what. After all, he is the first leader who actually floated. Let's take out Belgrade. And there goes Serbia. Next, Montenegro is weak. Move here. Oh! There's the victory. I actually thought I had to take down the Ottoman Empire as well. Oh well. Let's see. We have all of that for us now. Oh yeah, we don't have enough war score to take all of that because, you know, we're just amazing. Well, you guys don't seem to have come into contact with me, so... What to do, what to do. I'm gonna take this... Well, I'm gonna pass a few times. I'm gonna take this, this, this... In fact, all of Greece. All of you. And all of Serbia. Now I'm gonna take Constantinople, or as we call it here, Tsarigrad. Uh, it's ours. You can become our puppet if you want. And should I... Hmm. I could give some land to the Italians, can't I? Well, probably not. Let's see, what can I do? I could try to break the Ottoman Empire right here. You know what, let's do that. There you go. Something else. I know the rest of you will become mine. Now let's just pop at it, I guess. So yeah, that was the go, and that's the victory. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna see you next time. Goodbye.